With summer coming up quickly, I've been inspired to be more active and eat healthier, especially because summer is a time of year when you really want to look and feel your best. So I've put together a meal that's figure friendly and super easy to recreate. And best of all, it's delicious and doesn't taste anything like diet food. So let's get started. So I'm starting off by peeling an entire English cucumber. And then I'm just going to cut the cucumber in half horizontally and then vertically. So I'm using the edge of a spoon to pierce through the cucumber and then scrape out all of the seeds. And to get really nice uniform pieces of cucumber, I'm going to grate all the cucumber using a cheese grater. And since the cucumber is 96% water, you want to let your cucumber release some of its liquids before adding it to your yogurt so you don't end up with a really watery tzatziki. So I'm adding my cucumber to a mesh sieve over top of a bowl so that it can release its juices while I'm prepping everything else. To help draw out the moisture, I'm adding some kosher salt to it and giving it a little bit of a mix with my hands. So now I'm just squeezing the juice of a whole lemon into my glass and then removing any seeds. Moving on to the garlic which is my absolute favorite ingredient to cook with and if you love garlic as much as I do then I probably don't need to tell you why because it's amazing. <laughs> to quickly and easily remove the skin from the garlic just take a knife and lie it flat over your garlic clove and then punch down on it pretty firmly and your garlic skin will come off super easily. Then I'm just cutting off the ends of my garlic and popping them into a garlic press and the one I'm using here is from Ikea and it is the best garlic press I've ever used. It makes this job super easy. So I need six cloves in total, three for the tzatziki and three for the prawns. Now I'm grabbing some fresh oregano that I've already cleaned and dried. And oregano is such a beautiful and fragrant herb when it's fresh. I highly recommend incorporating fresh herbs into your recipes. So I'm topping up about two tablespoons of it. I'm going to grab a couple sprigs of fresh dill. And dill is best used when it's fresh because it loses almost all of its flavor when it's dried. And for a little bit of useless trivia, dill gets its name from its unique property to relieve gas, <laughs> in case you're interested. So I'm giving it a nice chop and I want about two tablespoons of it. Here I have a 454 gram or 16 ounce bag of thawed peeled and deveined tail on prawns. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of olive oil, and then eyeballing about half the lemon juice. And I know this sounds like a lot of olive oil, but most of it sits at the bottom of the bowl after they're done marinating anyways, so it's not too big of a deal. Next, I'm adding in all of the chopped oregano and a couple nice twists of fresh cracked pepper. Then I'm tossing in a couple pinches of kosher salt to season it up. And kosher salt is a coarse salt, so it doesn't measure teaspoon to teaspoon like table salt. So you would wanna use about half as much table salt if you were substituting. Now I'm putting in half the garlic that I pressed earlier and about a teaspoon of the chopped dill. And then I'm going to stir that all together and let that marinate in the fridge for about half an hour. All right, so back to the tzatziki. So now that the cucumber has had a chance to rest and let its juices release, I'm going to squeeze out any of the excess liquid from the cucumber with my hands. So I'm emptying one 500 gram or 17 ounce container of 0% plain Greek yogurt into my mixing bowl. And you really wanna use Greek yogurt for this because it has a thicker and richer consistency than North American yogurt. So I'm tossing in my cucumber and the garlic, and then I'm adding in my dill and the remainder of the lemon juice. Now I'm drizzling in about two tablespoons of olive oil and about a tablespoon and a half of white wine vinegar. So I'm adding in a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I know that sounds like a lot, but again, if substituting for table salt, you'll wanna use about half as much. And because kosher salt isn't treated with iodine like table salt is, it doesn't impart that bitter or sharp flavor. So I'm just finishing it up with a couple turns of black pepper and then stirring it all together. And I'm just going to stir until all of the ingredients are nicely mixed together and the oil is well incorporated. So for a little side note, whenever you're making something that has lemon juice or acids like vinegar, make sure you use a glass or a non-reactive bowl because acids will react with metal and you'll end up getting a funny flavor to your food. Now I'm just going to chop up some vegetables for the wraps. I'm going to start off by peeling and chopping up some cucumber. And then I'm going to chop up some green pepper, but any peppers that you wanna use or any vegetables you wanna substitute, it's totally fine. I just like the green pepper with Greek type foods. Then I'm going to dice up some red onion, but again, you could use white onion or shallots or 
anything that you prefer. And then I'm going to have some grape tomatoes. And I really, really love grape tomatoes for these wraps because they're super sweet. They're the perfect size and they just add a really nice complimenting flavor that stands up perfectly to the tzatziki. So after all of your veggies are chopped, it's a good time to skewer the prawns because they've had some time marinating in their liquids. And if you're using bamboo skewers, make sure you soak them for a good 30 to 60 minutes before grilling them so they don't go up in flames because that would not be a good time. And I'm just going to skewer them at two points to hold them together on the skewer really nicely. So I'm putting one through the back of the tail and then one through the top and I am using metal skewers for this. So I'm going to preheat my grill with the flames up to high and then I'm going to close the lid so that the grill gets really nice and hot and that's going to give my prawns a really nice grilled and kind of charred exterior. And then when I cook the prawns, I'm going to leave the lid open so that I get maximum contact from the flames without steaming my prawns. If you have a really powerful barbecue, you will probably want to turn the heat down a little bit so that you don't end up with totally charcoal prawns, but yeah. When you add the pita to the grill, make sure to monitor it closely and keep it off of a direct flame so it doesn't burn. When the prawns are finished, they will no longer be transparent. They'll look opaque all the way through and they'll turn a really pretty bright orangey pink color. To assemble my wrap, I'm just going to take a decent sized tablespoon of the tzatziki and then lay it in the middle of my wrap. And then I'm just tossing my vegetables on top. And then for the prawns, I'm going to remove the tails, which is also super easy. All you have to do is take your prawn and at the end where the tail is, you just want to pinch there and kind of wiggle the prawn out of the tail. And instead of doing two wraps, you could also take one piece of pita and cut it in half and then create two pita pockets. This will reduce the amount of calories you have by about 120 to 130 per serving. This amount of prawns would serve two people comfortably as a main and three to four people as a side. So if you're looking to serve more people, just adjust the amount of prawns you use. Finish it off with a nice wedge of lemon to squeeze over your wrap just before eating. And for two wraps, you're getting 38 grams of protein in under 500 calories with only 11 grams of fat. And if you decide to go for the pita pocket option, you're saving an additional 130 calories to make this entire meal only 370 calories in total. I'll have all the steps and ingredients in the description bar below for you guys. And I've also added both recipes into MyFitnessPal for easy entry into your daily food diaries. And I'll have that information in the description bar as well. So if you guys recreate this, don't forget to post your pictures to Instagram and tag me so I can see them and like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.